Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil and Mackenzie. Back with another reaction video. We are back with Miss Brienne Worth. We got her reacting to Ozzy Slang. I can't wait to dive into this. Before we do though, make sure y'all hit subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? So I have seen an alarming amount of people reacting to Australian slang, none of which are Australian. Yeah, it would appear that we've made somewhat of a spectacle of ourselves on the global stage with our language here on our half-empty island. Unless you're talking to a conservative, in which case, sorry, we're full. Just so full. I can have a check for you though. Yeah, sorry. See, it says here our population density is 3.1 people per square kilometre. Oh. England's is 395, but like we're full. But regardless, there is just something about Australian slang that really roasts the veggies of fucking everybody, apparently. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. I don't really care. Our language is a fucking joke. No, really, it is genuinely one big inside joke that we're all in on. And of all the reaction videos I've seen, I've not seen an Australian reacting to Australian slang. Why? Is that mm. we have to react to it every day? Have you ever tried to have a serious conversation with an Australian? <laughs> Ever. No. Have you ever watched a TV show with American actors and then there's like that one Australian actor? We sound like a joke. It's comical, truly. I don't even know what people are saying half the time. The best part is you can just make shit up as you go and it catches on. Everything works. No one has given a fuck here since the Cambrian explosion. I swear to God, that's how I feel a lot of the time. Like, they just out here making words up. Like, <laughs> I swear. Somebody just make a word up and hey, they stuck with that word. And somehow it's still good. All of Australia using a word, but yeah. Like she said, half the world, we don't know what y'all be talking about when y'all use that slang. We At just, all. We sit here lost. But we gonna nod. Like, <laughs> like we know. <laughs> so I've been watching quite a few of these and thinking like, I could do that better. <laughs> There's only so many times you can watch an American fuck up the word Sanger. Just got me thinking like, Sanger. who better to talk about Australia's sociolinguistics than me specifically. So I thought I might as well step up and react to the crock of shit that our country has created. So I'm gonna find some Aussie slang and react to it. If you didn't read that in the title, so I'm gonna start out with some phrases that I potentially don't even know the meanings of. So flat out like Let's a lizard it. drinking. Flat out like a lizard drinking. I don't even know. Flat out, like, <laughs> I, look, I flat out don't know. I repeat it to myself like it's just gonna come to me. <laughs> Oh. I'm guessing that means drunk, bro. That's the only thing I can think of is that you're drunk. If anything's flat out, it just means you're busy. Fair suck of the sauce oh. bottle, which to my knowledge is Australia's version of equality, means to be treated fairly, given a fair go, and uh, various whatnots. <laughs> why, would, why would the fair suck of the sauce bottle means equality? <laughs> that makes no sense. Whatsoever. I love you guys down <laughs> under, man. I love y'all so much. Quality means to be treated fairly, given a fair go, and uh, various whatnots. <laughs> Carrying on like a pork chop, one of my personal favorites, I literally just this. means that you're being overly dramatic and being a pork chop. How pork chop came into being dramatic, we might never I don't know. know. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. It's like a drop of pie. Uh, I'm going to give you a second to decipher what that might mean. You just got to misshaped head a misshaped head a head like a drop pie you got a misshaped head what, <laughs> what it mean i don't think that's what, what that you think it means i don't know but i know it ain't that <laughs> <laughs> that don't even sound right <laughs> head like a dropped pie uh, i'm gonna give you a second to decipher what that might mean that's a long enough second. It means you're fucking ugly, which obviously beauty comes from. I, I feel like my, I no. kind of get like half a point. I kind of get like no. half a point, like a misshaped head. <laughs> you're ugly. Kind of, kind of goes hand no. in hand. You feel no. me? Because we're how you. No, it doesn't. We're how you see the person with a misshaped head and not that. You got a Ooh. misshaped head. Stop, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Y'all Aussies. Do I got it? Do I got a head like a drop pie? Hit me in the cut. Do I got a head like a drop pie? You can you can be honest. <laughs> Keep it going, Brienne. Within and everything is subjective, but that's what that means. Kangaroos loose in the top paddock. Uh, it just means oh, you like means like you're slow. Like a few kangaroos loose in the oh, top like paddock. Oh, like people say you have a few screws loose in yeah, your head. Exactly. So I mean, that just means you're dumb. Like your you know sparks aren't a hundred percent flying up in the like you're a bit of a nutcase. Basically, crack the shits. Is this not? Does everyone not crack the ish? That just me, like joking. 
if we're just joking around with each other, crack the. That's what I'm guessing. I'll say that. It means to get angry or annoyed. Oh. Like I crack the shits hey. when I haven't eaten. I crack the shits when I wake up and realize that I'm awake that. now. Crack the shits when it's not two for one at Domino's. Lots of reasons. <laughs> Chockies are good one. I never use chocky to say chocolate. However, if it's chocolate milk or like chocolate biscuit, then it's chocky, chocky milk and a chocky bicky. Oh, Akadak is on here because something we've also done is shorten an acronym. Akadaka is short <laughs> for ACDC, the band, which is also... Pride it's just, you. it's already shortened. We've made it longer by saying Akadaka. Art yeah. doesn't have rules, sorry bitches. Devo. Devo's a good one. Means Devo. Devastated. Devastated. That sounds like a good answer. Devastated, and an offshoot from that is Defo, which means definitely. definitely. So you're Defo gonna be Devo when the servo's shut and you can't get your chalky milk. Obviously. Can you see here, tell me what you just said? You're Defo gonna be Devo when the servo's shut and you can't get your chalky milk. You're definitely going to be devastated. <laughs> when the servo... Does it have your chocolate milk? What's the servo, though? It's like gas station. <laughs> Sur service station, gas station. So you're definitely going to be Look, I got almost the entire you sandwich. Did? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. She's making progress, guys. <clears throat> Obviously. Servo, nice and easy. It's a petrol station or a gas station if you're in America. Now, Australia is not always the land of hard workers because we did invent the sickie, which is just taking a sick day off work when you're not actually sick. It's nearly a rite of passage. Obviously, we didn't invent the action of doing that, but you can thank us for the beautiful word that is sickie. sickie. Speaking of employment, you can be a tradie, you can be a copper, you can be a postie, you can be a garbo, you can be a muso, cabbie, fiery, bricky, ambo. If you're sick of work though, you can go to Macca's in the Arvo. If Macca's isn't really your vibe though, you can go home and have a cuppa. Because after all, we were colonized by England. You can dip your bicky in your cuppa, see, we're learning. Sometimes if you're driving home thinking about your cuppa, you might have a bingle. <laughs> Which is just ridiculous. A bingle is... Bro, well, it's so many though. Dude. I swear. She like flying. To uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. All the jobs and everything. Uh, I, yeah, I'm trying to keep up. I swear you just trying to read. Like I'm over here and I just watch so many Australian slang videos and I'm still sitting here like... I swear I'm not even looking at her. I'm looking at the words. <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch on. I swear, hey, it's tough out here for us. It's tough. For us. <laughs> the plebs would call a motor vehicle accident. You might take your car and then they do a bodgy job on it. It's not like you could really say anything though, because sometimes mechanics are built like brick shit houses, <laughs> which unfortunately is a real saying. A shit house is obviously like an outdoor toilet, I believe, and they are surprisingly always built really well, very solid. So built like a brick shit house. <laughs> Australia is also okay. one of the only countries in the world where you can see your political leaders wearing budgie smugglers. <laughs> Unfortunately for everybody with eyes. <laughs> and just to summarise some of my personal favourites, we've got Bodolo, the cornerstone of what mm. I'm going to go ahead and call our culture. Chockers, which just means it's twofold. Oh. Again, if you're talking to a conservative, Australia would be chockers. <laughs> Dead set. Mm. Just 100% true, definitely sure of it. Exy, which is not to be confused with Ekkies. Exy means expensive, Ekkies are pingers which is MDMA. As an extension of XC, oh, if something gross. costs big bickies, that shit is expensive. If something is yeah. rigid dig, it just means it's really good and genuine. Sparrow's fart, which I have never understood, but it just means dawn. <laughs> Knock off, everyone's favorite time of the day when you finish work. Reckon, which I don't, do you reckon? I don't really know what that means. Like, what do you reckon? What do you think? I don't, what do you, what's your opinion? <laughs> what is your opinion on this, sir? What do you reckon? I don't know. Australian slang is very contextual. It's not very literal at all. Yeah. As you can see, none of this fucking makes any sense. If you knock all. something back, we just sit here like, mm -mm. where did, like who came up with these words? I swear. I I need to talk to that person and get in their head and say, how and why. I swear, because it's like they know our words for it. Yes. Then they just they made up this lane. They said, let's confuse the Americans, guys. Yes. <laughs> That's what happened. I'm let's... confused. <laughs> I've lost. I've lost, bro. This is crazy. Back, it just means you're refusing it. If you knock off, it means you're finishing work. If something's cocked it, it's just dead. It stopped working. You might have Buckley's chance of getting it to start again, which just basically means Not give up chance. now. You've got no chance. If you wouldn't piss on someone if they're on fire, I think that's like very self-explanatory. It just means you don't like the person. If you spit in the dummy, it means you're losing your temper. If someone's told you to stop faffing around, 
you should probably actually get up and do something. Similar okay. to that is just having a whinge, which is just complaining. I feel like everyone says that though. If someone's told you to pull your head in, you better pull your head in. <laughs> you either need to shut up or like clean up your act or mind your business or all of the above. If you're on the piss, you've obviously been to the bottle because it means you're drunk. If someone's gone tropo, I believe this means that they've gone crazy. I think this comes oh. from the fact that everyone that lives in the tropics seems like a bit of a nutcase on some okay. level. Can confirm I'm from the tropics. If something is located out at Whoop Whoop, it is just too Middle far away. Nowhere. I've had lots of people think that Whoop Whoop is an actual place. It's not. Oh. It's, again, contextual, figurative, if you will. If you're feeling a little bit fancy, you can say 50k south of Whoop Whoop, which again just means too far away in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> if you're going to chuck a Yui, that means you're going to do a U-turn, <laughs> usually an illegal one if we're going by Australian drivers. And my all-time personal favourite, <laughs> no joke, is we're not here to fuck spiders. I oh don't... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't I'm get like it. Me. No. We're not here to elf spiders. Like, we came here to get something done. We're not we here to mess here to around. around. Yeah, basically. Let's try and work that one out. <laughs> it just means you came here for a reason. For example, you're at a pub, your friend says, hey, do you want some beers? You reply, well, I didn't come here to fuck spiders. Could you have just said, yeah, dude, I'd love a beer? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, not in this country. That is all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget uh, to follow me. I definitely enjoyed that one. Uh, it could... <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. That's a whole different language. Uh, I feel like I might remember a couple of these tomorrow, but may only just a couple. Yeah, a yeah. couple. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, but she's always entertaining when she's doing her videos, so it's always fun to get to react to Brienne. Uh, that's all we got for this one. You guys want to see us react to a certain Australian video? Drop it in the comment section. We here for y'all. Uh, you got anything to say? Mm -mm. But that's all we got. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Be out.